Okay, I guess we have this, but <laughs> what's going on, my fellow residents? It's me, Frozen Cavern, and today we're going to begin our blind journey through Super Mario Odyssey. It has been a wait, but we in there. <laughs> we are in there. And the sky is above Peach's castle. So we're getting right into battle, okay. <laughs> Are we immediately going to be put into the game, dude? That did a lot <laughs> for a hat. It's like we were in Smash Brothers. You know, honestly, I'd say dang, but it's not like this is the first time that Mario has lost in the beginning of a game. Like, for instance, Paper Mario, that was, like, one time where he loses at the beginning and then comes back at some point in time. So this is pretty much going to be the same thing. Except in Paper Mario, he didn't try to marry Peach. Wow, his hat got torn up. That's actually crazy. And I can see like the little like uh strands on it too. That's crazy. Okay, I was I was gonna assume like wait, is this one of those things where we can move around for now? Okay, looks like we're gonna have to go after him, which is also kind of something that happened in Super Mario Galaxy, which is another- uh, I hit my desk, which is another thing that, um, like, well, another game where Mario loses at first. I'm gonna have to change the camera settings when I'm able to. I would love it if you stop <laughs> running away with my hat. And I know that's Cappy, by the way. I've seen the Nintendo Directs about that. So sorry for running away like that. You startled me, and I do startle easily. You continued running, though. I saw what happened earlier. You've been through quite the ringer. You've landed in the Cap Kingdom. We've been under attack by the same monster, Bowser, that gave you such a trousing. And to make matters worse, the fiend w uh, has kidnapped my little sister. Which was on, uh, Pete. Well, I guess it's gonna explain that. <laughs> I'd hope to give chase to that monster, Bowser, in a, <laughs> in a ship of my own. I'm probably going to keep doing that, by the way. Unfortunately, all of our airships were wrecked in the attack. Bro, Mario having his own expressions? Like, well, no, of course he's had his own expressions before, but it's actually really crazy how in-depth they are. Although, now that I think of it, or think on it, I'm fairly certain there's a functioning ship in the next kingdom over. I could get us there, if only I could reach the top of Top Hat Tower, which is being guarded by the monsters. Okay, honestly, saying Bowser every time is gonna get annoying. Hence run. You know, it seems we're after the same thing. Perhaps we should team up. Let's see if we can help those two. Peach and... Uh... I don't remember... Did he say the name? I'm pretty sure he didn't. Not your style? How about this? <laughs> Cappy is now your companion. Alright, it doesn't seem like we're gonna get any other companions though. Uh, tell me what, why? By the way, I'm playing with like the actual like controller, I'm not using uh... I'm not using the Joy-Con individually. But hey, we got a lot of stuff to destroy and a lot of stuff to do. 
But first, we have to acquire a ship, however that's going to be possible. So, we just need to make it up to there. Oh wait, can I change my thing? Action guide? Eh, I'll check that out if I need to. Back to the game. Let's try talking to some people if we're able to. I can see Bowser's minions from here, but all I can do is hope uh, float helplessly and watch. Alright, well it looks like we don't really have much else we can do, so let's just head up there. But yeah, the opening for this is relatively similar to other Mario games so far. He just gets defeated by Bowser immediately. I thought we were actually going to like try and fight Bowser and we would have lost like regardless. Uh, okay, we just hit it. But it's relatively similar. It's just that we have different allies, which is also the same thing as other uh, Mario games. Like for um, Galaxy, it was Rosalina and uh, the Lumas. Hmm, the Goombas are yellow for some reason. Okay, I I was trying to land on them and I got hit. This is gonna be a great let's play. Okay, <laughs> let's uh let's not do that again. I I want to get in. Oh, we have to hit it. I I thought we had to press A on it or something. That's usually how doors work. There's a lot inside this tower. Okay. There's a lot of coins here and I want them all. Don't really know when I'm ever going to need another one, so I'm just going to have to be a little bit careful about that. Hmm, that looks pretty high. Am I able to just... Yep. Okay, so that's how that works. You just throw it at an enemy. You captured a frog, or possessed, although Nintendo doesn't like us calling it possessed. Oh my goodness, I jumped really high. Okay, that's... that's interesting. Why do I jump that high? That's actually... that's actually dumb. I know frogs can jump high, but my goodness, is that ridiculously high. That's... that's crazy how high I can jump. I don't think I can wall jump either, but that's fine. <laughs> Considering how high I can jump regardless, it's fine. This is perfectly fine. I could just skip past everything <laughs> by just jumping. This is this is actually crazy. It doesn't look like it can attack anything though. Oh, okay. Do that to return to normal. Let me get up here and get this chest because I can see that. Uh, just hit it. Oh, so that's also like the uh, it was like some mushroom in Galaxy. So I already see some like Galaxy esque things. Then again, a lot of people. Like, when Odyssey was first announced, I'm pretty sure a decent amount of people consider Odyssey to be, like, a, uh, like, sequel to, uh, Galaxy. Which I can understand. I'm just going back here just to see if there's, like, anything over here. And it does not look like it. But, yeah, had to try at least. I'm trying to do the backflip. Or a somersault. And already, I do know about this whole thing. Okay, I almost, <laughs> I almost jumped off. Gonna have to be a little bit more careful there. <laughs> the boss or Bowser? Well, I guess it makes more sense for them to say the boss. But the boss warned me there'd be a fellow uh, with a mustache coming along. Guess we ought to introduce ourselves. We're the wedding planners for the happy couple. You guys are wedding planners? Okay, I didn't know that. They call us the... Brutals? I'm assuming that's how that's pronounced. We got that treasure we needed, so we ain't got no business in these parts. I hate your speech pattern, by the way. <laughs> of course, roughing up goody two-shoes meddlers was in the contract, so I guess we still got a little work to do. And I'm assuming I just have to take you down one by one? I'm down. Okay, it looks like we literally just hit you and we're good. And jump! There we go. Nice and easy so far. 
Oh, well, I, I got completely lucky there, <laughs> to be honest. I thought I was going to jump over that, but I guess it's a good thing I didn't. Alright, so that's one out of four. If there's any more, that is. I guess not. Okay. It's kind of crazy how you can just ride electricity. And there's a title, but it's kind of crazy how you can just ride electricity into another city. You can go literally anywhere by... Well, not literally anywhere. Anywhere that has electricity, that is. But given, like, modern times... Like, in real life, if we could do such things, then we could actually just pretty much go anywhere within, like, the country. Or the U.S., that is. I can also imagine that that would kind of hurt. But, eh, probably not. That looked like that hurt, though. Our first power moon. Okay, I guess that's the name of the level. Woo yeah, what a ride. And we made it to ca uh, the Cascade Kingdom. Sorry, still a bit amped from cap capturing a power line. Must recollect myself. There should be an old airship somewhere around here. Let's see if we can't find it. Well, I think the term is let's see if we can find it, but whatever. Those look like donuts, but whatever. Oh, that might be currency for other things because it is different. Uh, oh, I guess that's a hat that I have to get later on. Okay. Uh, let me read the sign real quick, just to make sure of things, if I can. Okay, lock, well not locking on, reading stuff is a little difficult. After throwing your cap, well, issue is that I can't, well, can I do that actually? Let me see. Uh, it doesn't look like it, unfortunately. I think it's only if, like, we're in the individual Joy-Con mode. Oh, we can also hold it. I guess I'm figuring this stuff out beforehand. I mean, it's good that I am, but, eh. Oh, uh, there's a lot of... Uh, okay. Just being a... Oh, there's 50 of these. Okay, that's... It. Um, hmm. Let's see if this works. How high does this take... Okay, it doesn't take us that high, unfortunately. Uh... Um... How do I... Wait. Oh, okay, that's how that works. Okay. I thought it was like a hat I had to get uh, later on. And yay, chain chomps. Not gonna worry too much about that. Just gonna go around you. Especially since you only... Oh, I see what we have to do. Just do that and move. Oh, you're still stuck to the thing. Uh... Hmm. Okay, let's hit him against these things and see if that actually changes anything. Because he does... Well, he is in the range of these. Okay, so that's one. Wait, I forgot. I have to remember, we can pretty much uh, possess anything. Uh, wind up, and then... There we go. That's that's so different. I have to remember that we can possess pretty much anything. Well, any enemy. Well, not even just any enemies. Like, any obstacle, I think. Basically, anything with eyes. <laughs> Let's just remember that. Basically, anything with eyes I can possess. Well, capture. Nintendo doesn't like saying possess. Multi-moon atop the falls. Ooh, we found a power moon. What a lucky break. This will come in handy to power the airship. Have you ever seen anything like it? Nope. The only thing we've ever seen before are like stars and sun related things. That's water on the camera. Okay, that's interesting. Mario's super shiny because of the water. Ah, there it is. This is what we were looking for. That's very rustic. It's looking a bit more rough than I'd expect. Uh, no, it's just an older model. I'm certain it can still fly. Let's give it a shot, shall we? Just throw me on that globe there. Okay, let's try that. Hopefully this works. I wouldn't expect only one... Yeah, I wouldn't expect only one to actually work. Huh. Nothing's happening? That power moon must not have given the ship enough energy. I wonder if we can find more around here. And that's where the multi things come in, and we need four. <laughs> Thankfully I saw that. Uh, can I get up here? I wonder. Probably not, actually. Uh, hmm. 
I want to try and like see like what kind of combinations I can make for mobility, but eh, I'll figure out something later. Oh, and I guess when you have like max health and you get one of those uh, hearts, you just get more coins. Which we can pretty much just use for later. But I do wonder what these purple coins are for. They're probably... Oh, no. Give me the thing. There we go. Oh, we can also use Cappy to collect coins. Nice. But, um... They're probably for getting another, like, uh... Power Moon. I wouldn't be surprised if that was the case. We might also be able to, like, talk to someone if that's the case. See if we can, like, trade them in for a Power Moon. That might be, uh, how that works. But then again, I haven't really seen any people in, uh... Or, not really people, like, residents in, uh, Cascade Kingdom yet, so... For all I know, it could be completely incorrect. <laughs> and there's the T-Rex. They immediately give us the T-Rex. Let me see what we can actually do with that, though. Oh, I see what we need to do with that. Let's just do this now. <laughs> Lovely. They instantly give you this. Nintendo, you're great. Yeah, just get out of the way. <laughs> no one cares. We have a new villain now, and it's a dinosaur. Uh, okay, I can't get it. Oh, I needed the chain shot for that. Okay, whoops, I killed that. Let's just keep going. Stone bridge. Uh, I actually need to be a little bit careful. Hmm, can I walk across? Uh, I'm gonna try it. Why not? Okay, uh, can I get the coins from here? Yes, I can. <laughs> That's kind of broken. Uh, okay, last time, uh, I'm actually gonna be a little bit careful in trying to get off of there. So, let's just... There we go. Okay, so that's how that works. I wonder how long the enemy stays stunned for, though. We've never really gotten into detail about that. Wait, is that a Cat Peach thing down there? I saw that. Hold on. If I can get over there safely without getting myself killed. Yeah, that's a, that's a Cat Peach. What is this? Oh, that gave me, well, coins in this case. Hmm. I'm going to assume there's a lot more secrets like that. So, I'm gonna have to keep a lookout for that. Alright, gotta be a little careful going up these. Uh, I say that and I almost immediately fall. Uh, my Mario platforming skills has not been refined for a good while. When was the last, I think the last Mario game I ever, like, played was, um, what was it? Uh, 3D World, <laughs> and that was for the channel, so, goodness, and again, <laughs> more, like, uh, well, not really retro, it's like, uh, 8-bit references, well, Cat Peach, Cat Peach isn't really 8-bit, but in the design that it was in, it's technically 8-bit reference, well, not really a reference, it's more design, we've gotten flat and rather blocky at that, Come on, get up there. Uh, I'm gonna grab the coins, why not? I don't really see any harm in not doing that. Ow. <laughs> oh, that's an infinite thing, or rather, just longer. I don't know what those are actually called. They're like semi-infinite, but that's really not the term either. It's kind of weird how he kind of just <laughs> transitions from 2D to 3D like that. I bet you there's a spectacular view on top of that pole. That, uh, this one? Okay, well, there's the boss over there. Hey, there's more of this. Can we get nine? Okay, no, we can. It's just, uh, coins, unfortunately. Hmm, I never saw any more power moons. Eh, I guess we'll just find one later on, or at some point. Uh, hmm. Are we able to... Oh, wait, we have to smack this into that, more than likely. Issue is, you're gonna get in the way. So, this is gonna be awkward to try and do. Especially if it's the back one. Okay, that's... that's annoying. Oh, no. Come on. We can do this. It's not too difficult. It's only difficult when another Chain Chomp's in the way. Alright, and go. There we go. Nice job, Frozen. You're learning. Kind of. And you have three power moons. Okay, what's this? You say you need to repair some silly old airship? 
Why well, I could never part with any of my precious power moons. It sounds to me like someone wants to be a snack for my adorable chain chompikins. Ugh, you're creepy. Alright, let's take care of you. Can I capture you? Since Nintendo... Ow. Since Nintendo doesn't like to say that. Yes, I can't. Okay. Well, that completely backfired. Splendid. Yep, we found out the weakness. Just possess anything that has eyes. Or capture. Okay, so I'm assuming... Okay, we just do it after you do the spin move. Oh, we have to knock the hat off first. I didn't even notice that. Okay. Wait, what? Oh, I picked up a rock on accident. Didn't know I could do that either. If I could get over to you, please. She's also, like, really big compared to Mario. I didn't even notice that. Alright. Now... Oh, your eyes. <laughs> they don't have the, uh... They don't have the pupils in them. <laughs> That's kind of, uh... Horrifying. Let's, uh... <laughs> and your skin's also pink. That's a little interesting. Let's just go away. And hopefully you won't smack us. Now three times the charm... And that should be the end of the boss. We just killed someone. <laughs> I'd like to point that out. She kind of just exploded. Okay, a multi-moon. Even though that technically still just counts as like three separate moons. Or I would imagine that it would count like that. You've done it. And now we've got a multi moon. It's the strongest three power moons. Uh, excuse me, combined. It should get the ship moving in no time. Didn't, we, didn't it say we needed four though? Let's see if we can't make this work. Throw me on that globe. It said we needed four though. And whatever, we probably have to do this in order to continue anyways. Well, continue to find the last one. Oh, I guess that... Yeah, it still has the last part of that sail missing. I think there are still more power moons we can find. Let's have a look around. Okay. It doesn't really give us any form of direction, which is, you know, that's fine. Uh, we came from this way. Uh, did we ever go right... Doesn't look like we really can, though. Well, uh... Okay, we're gonna have to just go... Oh. <laughs> That's where a power moon is. Okay. Oh, and now I actually see how we're supposed to get that, I think. So, if I'm correct, hopefully... Oh, there's a the pipe. Okay. What I was thinking is that it would break off, like, a certain section, and, like, the rest would just fall down, but, eh, that works. Let's get this checkpoint. Top of the big stump. Well... There we go. Is that another power moon up there? No, that's a coin, I'm pretty sure. And by the way, power moons are going to be everywhere, because I know there's like over 600 of these things, so... Who oh, goodness. By the way, I never explained. I'm just going to explain this now. Uh, this is not going to be a 100% playthrough, because that would take way too long. <laughs> I still have things to do. I have a life of my own, you know. And I did see those over there, so I want to try and... Well, those purple donut coin things, so I'm going to try and get those before heading out. And then we also need to get over to that other section, because I accidentally <laughs> uh, made us miss it. Uh, okay. There's a lot of exploring you can do here. My goodness. Uh... Oh, this is where we were ah, before. Okay. See some more here. Okay, this is going to be a little bit sketchy, but... Eh, nope, okay. There we go. And then I see a pipe. See where this takes us. Oh, ZL. <laughs> huh, this is interesting. Okay. Uh Oh, I think I would see what we're supposed to do here. Just do that. Boom. Oh, I guess it's like progressing in difficulty on how we actually get uh, through these. Maybe. Well, actually, this doesn't look all that different. Maybe. 
Uh, this is gonna be a little awkward. Does it work the way I think it does? Yes, it does. Okay. <laughs> Physics do apply. Simple geometry. Oh goodness, this is <laughs> there's back to back ones. This has not happened before. This should be a fine angle though. Or not. Okay. Gonna have to angle it a little bit that way. No, that's too far. Okay, aim it to the right. Aim it that way. No? Oh my goodness. This has such a precise angle. I'm hitting everything but where I need to go. There we go. Third time's the charm. Alright, so where does this... Uh, oh, <laughs> Power Moon. I wonder if we can only hold on to a certain uh, amount of Power Moons. I mean, that would not really make all that much sense, but I can kind of see that happening as much as I don't want that to happen. Now we need to get into this area over to the left, like right after we get these. We're still missing 20? Okay. Okay. We need to capture you, and then smack you into here, if I could see. There we go. And <laughs> Power Moon! Again, these Power Moons are everywhere. Oh, they also give you dates for when you complete them. I didn't even see that. Okay. It's interesting. Alright, let's get out of here. We've been hanging around here long enough. Got a decent amount of uh, extra power moons, too. There we go. All nice and redone. The Odyssey is restored. And now we can go to places all over the world for right now. We've enough fuel to reach the Sand Kingdom. Let's go save those prin- well, those two. Well, no, I don't think his little sister is a princess. He never actually said that, but who knows, that could be something that is brought up later. Why don't we- why don't you take the helm? Just select the Sand Kingdom? Okay. But, uh, hmm. Well, hold on. What is the list? Oh, that's for Power Moons. So there's also Power Moons here. There's not that many there. Oh, it also gives us a catalog of things we can capture. That's interesting. Quite a lot of stuff, too. Souvenir list. Don't know anything about those yet, but we'll probably find that out soon enough. But I'm going to end it off here. In the next episode, we're going to head off into the Sand Kingdom. But until next video, take care. I'm really enjoying this game so far.